Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a two button arming switch. I've been mucking around with the RadioMaster G12 radio and uh, I'm trying to work out the sort of safest uh, but easily accessible method to do a, an arming switch for iNav. I don't want to just use a switch because I'm concerned that I'll bump it and disarm in flight. Even though disarming isn't such a problem these days, you can arm again quickly but I'd hate to disarm and not realize that I'd disarmed and uh, lose my plane so uh, what I've been doing in other radios is using the momentary button on the switch or on the on the Zorro or the latching button on the top on the boxer but the G12 is a little bit different so I decided to use the SA and the SD momentary buttons use some logical switches uh, so that I have to push both of them to arm and both of them to disarm. So I'll show you how to do that. So if we go to the logical switches page, there we are. Logical switch one is triggered when I push SA and SD. Let's have a look at that. So it's the end function and you choose V1 as SA and V2 as SD. So that just means that when both of them are pushed, logical switch one is activated. It, it's only for as long as it is pushed but that's all we need and logical switch 2 is the actual arming switch and for that we use the sticky function triggered by logical switch 1 that's the push of both of them see that turns logical switch 2 on and because it's the sticky fu function it stays on until we uh, use the v2 trigger which is logical switch 1 again so just again logical switch 2 turns on when logical switch one is triggered but stays on and turns off again when logical switch one is triggered and this is an express lrs system so i had that on channel five which is a requirement for express lrs I also have a, a haptic vibration as well, so I can feel it through my hands when I'm activating those switches. And a voice readout as well for throttle active and disarmed. So that might be useful for other radios where you don't have a spare switch or you're concerned about bumping that arming switch uh, and, and you have two momentary buttons available to you. You can use this method to use the two momentary buttons to arm and disarm. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.